differences between the monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies. Now, here is a question that what is meant by the monoclonal and polyclonal antibody? So, first of all, the monoclonal antibodies. So, as the name suggests, ke monoclonal, mono means single or one, clone means different kind of the clones of the B cells which are going to produce the antibody producing cell. So, those antibodies which are going to produce from a single antibody producing B cells are called as monoclonal antibodies. Another important aspect regarding to the monoclonal antibody is based on its binding ability or its uh, affinity. That means that they has to bind with the single and unique epitope. Means, agar ek antigen ke upar, there are so many epitope, mm, uh, epitope 1, 2 or 3. So, monoclonal antibody, agar wo epitope 1 ke liye specific hai, so it would bound only with epitope, bound, epitope, epitope number 1, but it would not bound with the epitope number 2 or epitope number 3. So, this, this determines, this uh, recognizes the specificity of the monoclonal antibody that is very, very specific. Uh, to its corresponding epitope. So, mainly these monoclonal antibody, they belong to single subtype of the immunoglobulin or IgG. For example, mm, the IgG1, IgG2 and IgG3, they are uh, mainly belongs to uh, monoclonal antibodies. Then, in contrast to polyclonal antibodies, uh, monoclonal antibodies, the polyclonal antibodies are being there. Polyclonal means that poly means many clones means the different clones of the B cells which are going to produce into plasma cells or antibody producing cells. So, the collection of antibody from a different antibody producing B cells. So, it has an, an, a different variety. So, there are so many clones of the B cells they are participating in producing such kind of antibodies which are polyclonal in nature. So, regarding to the binding of polyclonal antibody that they has the ability to bound with the multiple epitopes on a same antigen. Means, ek hi antigen ke upar, agar bohut si epitopes hain, to these antibodies has the ability to bind with the multiple epitopes. So, that's why it is called as polyclonal antibody that it has an ability to bound with the so many epitopes but the antigen would remain same. That means that it determines the specificity. Matlab antigen A ke upar, agar 1, 2, 3 epitope hai, to they, these has the ability to bound it. Lekin agar antigen B is also be there, so it would not be able to bound with the antigen B. That's the difference. So, polyclonal antibody, they has the ability to bound with the same antigen, but with multiple epitopes. So, Polyclonal antibody, it is going to be obtained in serum with antibodies having different affinities. Means, ke jo antibodies ki different affinities hai, us, us mein ye antibodies, jo polyclonal antibodies hai, they are just going to be obtained in a serum. Ek serum mein present hai, aur ek pool ki form mein hai, aur us pool mein uh, kuch antibodies ki affinity different hai, kuch ki different hai, that means that the polyclonal antibodies they has the different affinity if they are present in a serum in a same serum so this is the very important attribute of the polyclonal antibody in contrast to monoclonal because monoclonal mein jo antibodies thi, they have an, an a same kind of affinity with the same single or unique epitope so these are the important aspect regarding to differences between mono and polyclonal antibodies Another important aspect regarding to the type or the class of polyclonal antibody, mainly polyclonal antibody belongs to IgG class. So, this is another important aspect regarding to the polyclonal antibodies. So, the differences between polyclonal and monoclonal antibodies are, diff are very clear in order to understand the binding as well as their structural differences.